problem in the divisional round. We're about to find out. True is going to get it first. Yeah, you saw it. These guys built their own teams. We see the legends. We see the regular players. So when you see Joke wearing these Patriots uniforms, remember, keep in mind, he's not playing with the New England Patriots. Drew is not playing with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Those are just the uniforms that they pick. They assembled these teams under that 900 cap. They pick from the same pool of players. And they're also in control of what playbooks they want to use as well. So first and 10 from the 40. After the kick out of bounds, that's where True will start. Five minute quarters. 30 seconds will be on the play clock. What about the playbooks? Such a big part of the game. Yeah, we said these guys are in control of their playbooks. So you have True Boy staying in this Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. But right now, Joe rocking that Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. Well, we're going to have a quick pause. And this is the time. If you have any questions to ask for the admins, early in the game is the time to do it. And I, it might just be an equipment change here. I, it was hard to tell what he was saying. I, I think he was talking about making equipment change. And yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, and here comes the lead admin on EA staff. Justin Chow, a part of the CGD team, former competitive player. My longtime friend and... He's the best in the business. If he's on the case, you know, uh, we'll get to the right spot eventually. Had decades of experience in Madden, former competitive player, so he knows what it's like to sit there. And something about Joke didn't like his initial controller there. You see that black controller, the wireless one that he had wired in. And then so he switched to the default controller. And Maybe just... Something didn't feel right to him, and he, he knew he needed to swap. And you can't blame Joke. This is playoff football. You know, we talked about it. Everything that you've put into the year comes down to this game. So as a player, you need to make sure you're extremely comfortable. Everything's the way you want it. Your playlist is set. Your controller's, you know, something that you're, you're familiar with and you feel good about. You don't want to leave any excuses on the field. If there is a time to leave it all out on the virtual gridiron, it's right now, and that means making sure your equipment is where you want it to be as well. So no no problem for Joke to, you know, go out there and get himself in a comfortable position because this game is big. Something that he didn't like on first down. So a change of equipment. And here we go, second and ten. Steve Young finds Paul Richardson of the Seattle Seahawks. And he's able to pick up six. That'll make a third and four. Early on here for Trill, we saw a defensive battle from these guys in the regular season. If anybody can get their offense going early, that's going to be a big deal. Drew was in Division B. Joke was in Division A of the Legend Conference. This is the second time that they're going to tango. One thing I love about Drew is he plays with his own style a lot of guys like to tank their offensive line they, they you know they don't spend a lot there but you know you look at true he's got that 95 overall bo jackson you saw dan deardorff he's got an 86 overall jonathan ogden he's got a larry allen 83 and 87 overall will shields i'm just listing the, the from the pool of players he had to choose from he had the 91 rodney hudson a 93 overall alex Mack. so a lot of players didn't put load up heavily on their offensive line. Drew took his own approach, and it's been paying wonders for him so far this season and ultimately. So it'll be second and 10 from the 36. Joke already used the timeout here early. Ooh, he's known for being a runner. I think. Looks like he's trying to catch Joke off guard, coming out pass heavy early. And there is the heat. Unblocked is Woodley. Joke says, what's nano detection? Let me just come right through the A gap. Well, he was blocked for a nanosecond. Threw the guard away. Screaming. And when you're giving true homage, are you sure that someone got a hand on that guy? He was right in there. It looked like he came clean, but in the replay, Maybe caught a little bit of him coming by. 
Third and 16 now. Young, quick drop. Good presence, finds Ingram, and that's gonna make it fourth and short. Fourth and three. It's a 47 yarder from there. Looking at through the lowest. That's a big kick. Kick is up, and it is good. And True strikes first. Right now, Scott, I, I got a stat for you. you. You're looking at in this game the number one and two rush defense defenses in the entire Ultimate League. Oh! Maybe that's why True came out throwing. And a touchdown saving tackle along the boundary. One thing I thought was interesting is looking through True's old lineman again, the lowest overall old lineman he had in his player pool for this Ultimate League was a 83 overall Larry Allen, which is quite impressive when you see guys go, you know, with those 70 overall type old linemen, 10 cap guys. You could tell a difference. He wasn't having none of that. Especially with the speed. You see a lot of pulls, a lot of traps, a lot of whams. Oh. Amos on the coverage. Maybe could have had a pick. Yeah, good coverage right there by Amos to keep leverage, not let the receiver behind him, not give up the big play. Second and 10 now from the 30. Joke trailing by three. Here in the opening quarter, quick throw, tie. Knocked out of bounds at the 35, and that'll bring up third and five to go. Needs to get just past the 40. Fred's coverage over on the left, he backs him off. And wide open is Harrison. <laughs> and that'll move the chains at the 50-yard line. Big first down right there by Joker. He's a master of this West Coast playbook. That's the playbook he's in here, Cole. Saw Musafa Jones run it. W likes to run it. So Tweed in the regular season run that playbook. True right now, and you're wondering in the New England Patriots defensive playbook been in pretty much all season long. So first and 10 now down at the 36 as Joke is on a drive trying to answer the initial field goal by True. Mariota back to Harrison. Three of four now. He's in the red zone. Joke had that corner route open. He had the receiver going up the seam, that A wide receiver wide open as well. And looking much better on offense than what we've seen EMB look like against Cruz's defense all season long already is Joe. Walker. Oh. He's got room. Comes it back and made Amos look silly. Fox Joe gives himself a little dap on the chest. Gonna go sip some H2O. I'd say the controller's working. <laughs> not complaining after a drive like that. Here's the extra point. Make it a four point game. Up and it is good. Nice looking drive there by Joke. This is gonna be a big drive right here for Drew. You know, he's got that slow, one first type offense. He came out passing early. And this will be interesting to see. We, we knew Joke was gonna prepare differently for True in this game. We get to see how much that preparation pays off on this drive. Good run right there by Joke. And I love that celebration. <laughs> <laughs> well, now let's see what True can do. Trailing by four, Gurley! Gets to the edge. Could not get away from Darius Slay Jr. who stops him just past midfield. True is in love with him. He's got some of the best run sticks in the nation, but he's really in love with that steerable spin move by the ball carrier. You do that by holding the left trigger, right trigger, aim the left stick in the direction you want to go with the ball carrier, press that B button. 
try to get icky. It's gonna work out for him right there. Well, Gurley doesn't really have breakaway speed, but he can knock you over and sometimes make you miss. True has been running wild with this Tom Gurley all season long. See him just stays in the single back, like a single back wing tight set, the three tight ends. This is just uh, all that beef up front in the O-line. This is just really a different game plan than you're used to preparing for. Goes the air. Playmakers A. Good read. And there's Paul Richardson down to the four. He's four for four for 63 yards to the air. And he's going to be able to open this type of stuff up. I mean, Joke's just so committed to trying to stop this run. You can see Drew's been able to find some guys getting open. He's passing the ball, I think, a lot more than Joke anticipated him to. Here he goes again on first down passing. Throw that away. Maybe try to. Well, he's actually going to lose a yard. You know, he came into the, this game averaging nearly 100 yards on the ground, 95.2. But against Joke, he's unveiling a passing attack as well. Three tight ends, second and 11. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. With your score, 7-3. to three. Echo Fox joke with the lead. But True is on a drive, and he's pushed it all the way down to the 15. Steve Young, the lefty, the legend. Reed. It's going to be close to a first down. Going to depend on the spot, and then make it third and one. How often have we seen this season True get down here inside the five? I mean, more He's been on the half one. yard line and not scored a touchdown more than I can count. Some just some awkward animations. Bad luck. It happens to the best of them. But he's kept his emotions in check. He's it. But go ahead and celebrate. You're in the end zone. Big response drive right there from True. Opens up. Gets held to a field goal. Joe marches down the field, gets his touchdown. And then you're able to methodically mix up the run, mix up the pass, and get yourself a touchdown of your own with your ultimate league life on the line. Way to step up with your young, young Eli Clayton, a.k.a. True, from Woodland Hills, California. Take a look at it again. Still can't believe Gurley it. Gurley untouched. Still can't believe where Joke's from. West New York, New Jersey. Yeah, it sounds made up. It's a real place. Unless Joke's trolling on his hometown, but I looked it up. Something you tell somebody that you never want to see again. Oh, yeah, I'm from. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that's, like the made, that's like the fake phone number. I'm not sure how you can be in New Jersey, but west of New York. It just, it's just, you know, I'm just showing science right now. You know, I'm just putting, it's geographically impossible. Ooh. First and five. Of course, one nearly west New York. 75,000 plus from playing Madden football over the last couple of seasons. West New York, it's a, it's a town in New Jersey in Hudson County. Population one, jokes the mayor, also the best Madden player in the town. Zip code 07093. Throws a corner route. Can't haul it in though. Would have been well out of bounds, third and six as the bell tolls. Flips the bunch, Harrison to the right. Gotta be careful here if you joke. Truth flourish in these situations on defense. Third and mediums. Mariota. That's, wow! Can't get around the edge. Here. Oh my gosh, I might need a replay of that one. The stick work by True. To take away the crossing route. Look at him taking away the cross. And then Agassa goes in the pursuit of the quarterback. And Joke with nowhere to go. And once he playmakered the wide receiver upfield, he darted in. 
Yeah, because he had a zone behind him that he could pass the, pass the receiver off to. These guys are really good at using their prime time and passing them off. Dion! This is prime time. Mark. This is prime time! Ah. Almost broke free. Let's take a look at that defensive play. Yeah, so watch. You see him. He's on X. He's on X. X playmakers. He passes them off and then collapses on the quarterback. That's the solid defense right there by True and high awareness, high level Madden. He's got the lead, he's got the ball. 3.16 to go. Right at midfield, right on the Ultimate League logo. Been one heck of a Madden 18 season. Got to step up on defense here if you're joke. You don't want a guy like True to start getting big leads on you, two possession type leads, because he runs the ball so effectively, it's going to be easier for him to milk the clock down and kill this game away. Has one of the highest time of possession in the Ultimate League. It's just not surprising at all. For a, for a young man, True, he rarely plays old man style football. <laughs> we just want to get the beef up front. We're going to run the ball. We're going to control the clock and yeah, play I don't, stingy I don't defense. I don't know why we ever called him True Boy. He might be a youngster, but he plays like he's up in our age. Grown man game plan, that's for sure. Spins, lost two yards. So that's going to bring up third down, third and nine. It's a big down for Joke. Got to get a stop. Joke representing Team Echo Fox. True boy. Tied with Skimbo for making the most live events in the MCS era all time. Both of these guys, a ton of credentials, a ton of experience. They're mad and ultimate leagues lives are going to come down to this game. Steve Young with a 97 step drop. Fine standing sharp down at the 15. He's six for six with Stevie Young. Just look at this three man rush. He just has all day back there with Steve Young. Rolls out, uses the playmaker. And that'll take us to the two minute warning in a three point game. But True is on a key drive here in the second quarter. Ball at the 15. First and 10. $7,500 game of Madden. Both these guys have already made 12500 Making it this far in the ultimate league. That doesn't include the $1,000 they got for each win of the regular season. You can get to the next round, you guarantee yourself 20,000 on top of that thousand for each win of the regular season. And a healthy, the greatest Madden player of all time, Eric Problem, right? Second and 12. Problem had the best record in the Legend Conference. One of his losses, though, came to Chaos. He finished last of the conference. Sort of a trap game situation. Got caught up, and then that set him on fire. Didn't lose another game. Yeah, that was, uh, I woke him up a little bit. Third and 12. Ball at the 17 now. Another big play here, Cole. They hold him to three. Empty. The awkward route combination you see on the play art right there from True. Watch from the playmaker, I'm up. Didn't have time for that. Good stand by Joke. That's a big defensive stand. It's interesting to me that you saw Safa do it at the end of that W game. You saw Joke do it right there. The EMP guys uh, not coming out in field goal block. I guess at some point, is the block worth it? If the guy fakes it on you and makes it a two possession game before the half, you'd well, maybe never forgive yourself. Here's the thing in order for you to fake it on me, you need to have shown me that you could fake it on tape. And I guess to be fair, True, True is the only person <laughs> we saw in the regular season run a fake field goal and run it successfully. Yeah, in the Legend Conference, that's for sure. Uh, I guess you got a point there, Cole. So there's a first down. Got two timeouts. Ball at the 42. 
Drive. Field goal would erase everything True just did. The touchdown would give him the lead. Clock's ticking. Mariota steps and throws. There's Grant. Can he get out of bounds? He will. Smart play by Joe. Getting out of bounds, stopping that clock, lets you preserve those two timeouts that you have. You're joking. I mean, like you said, the field goal's nice, but the touchdown will really get you all kinds of momentum if you can put it together here. But we've seen Joe struggle during the regular season in these type of situations. Before the, the first half. Spin to the 43. It's ticking. Still has those nine. two timeouts. Get caught in bounds again, you're going to have to burn one. And he'll drop it, and that might have been a good thing. He loves that drag well. I don't think anybody checks down to the drag out of this, this gun bunch as much as Joke does. Well, he starts them way outside, too. Way outside. You see that Harrison? See the drag right there? Changes the play. He'll hand it off. And he's going to have to use a timeout. 21 seconds left in the half ball at the 42. Got to set yourself up for at least a field goal here, RG. Yeah, he's not in field goal range yet. Maybe about five yards out, depending on the kicker. He's got Dan Bailey, so maybe he's more like seven or eight. It's going to be a 56-yarder from there. Got to be careful here. True has three timeouts. If you don't get this first down, True is one big play away from getting himself in field goal range and potentially kicking a field goal and making this a two-possession ball game going into the half. This is huge. It's a crucial 18 seconds in a six-point game. You're going for this if you're joking. You need to convert. Fourth and oh, six, no! and he's going to be sacked. Come on. Quarterback meat tastes sweet. Take a look at it again. You got time, but you don't have that much time. Try to get away. A buddy that was in the NFL played some old line. He told me that's what the defendants would tell you after you gave up a sack. Quarterback meat tastes weak. And Gurley will cut it back. Got timeouts. You get about two more plays in. He's got to be careful, too. You don't want to throw a pick six. He did that against Problem at the end of the half, and that changed the whole narrative of that game. Oh, he had a whole oh, oh, missed rare. opportunity. Bad vision. That's very rare from True. Yeah, you don't see that often, Cole. You're right. Had the timeout. Could have cut it back. He's going to run it again. Has room. Man to beat. Can't spin away. Good tackle there from Slay. And that's how the first half will come to a close. 13 to 7 in favor of True. Start of the third quarter here between Echo Fox Joke and True, and True enjoying a six point lead after the half. Got 10 minutes left here in the wild card round to see who's going to face problem in the divisional. You joke, you need to get out of your offensive struggles here. This is the playoffs. One of the best prepared players in the world, top ranked. This is where you really got to put on. That was Rick Lovato. Had to get down before. Got blown up by Jayon Brown. Had him in his sights. Ball to 37, first and 10. Quick throw. There's Harrison. Up the sideline. It pushed out of bounds at the 26. That's a big play for Joke. Huge chunk gets it right over the cloud flat. Defender and Harrison just booking it up that sideline. So first and 10 at the 26 now. Hand it off to Walker and Herschel. Get wrapped up at the 19. He's in the red zone. Trailing by six. I like the helmets during the playoffs. It's a nice little touch on the stage. Patriots, Jags, little AFC championship action right there. 
But remember, they're not playing with the actual Patriots and Jets. Those are just the uniforms. They constructed these teams in the mud salary cap mode. And here goes Joker. In there for Herschel. Riddell Brito, 24 years old. West New York, New Jersey. I know you don't believe it's a real place, but it is Cole. It's physically impossible. But he's got the lead. He's been playing competitive Madden since all the way back. Madden 07. Tons of experience. I'm not going Fox joke, but this is probably the biggest game of his Madden career. We've life. talked about both these guys being real stingy on defense, especially in the running game. But Joke has scored twice with Herschel. Yeah, and you're not, when you think of Joke, you, you know, you think he likes to pass the ball a lot. You don't see him get his running game involved too often. But w when he does, he's usually pretty successful with it. Probably needs to implement some more Herschel Walker in his game plan. That could be a false start. It looked like it. He's going to back him up five. Part of the risk of trying to draw that defense off sides is. That was the legend. Larry Little from the Dolphins. Uh oh, Drew! Gurley oh. can't run away. Hager tripped him up at the 48. Hager with a what could have been a touchdown saving tackle, shoelaces. And that's the thing of Gurley. He just doesn't have that that gear. Herschel seems to have maybe one more gear that he can kick it into. Good point. But of course, that's salary cap. Do you want to spin that extra cap? I believe the difference is 10 between the two. That Gurley's going to run you. 45 Come on, cap. Throw it to him right. Oh, that's the pick I need right there. And Herschel Walker. Depends on which right one you there. use. The 93 overall is 55 cap. He's got the full 93 in there now. You were on point with it, the 10 extra cap. I've watched a few Madden football games. <laughs> oh, you think? I got a pretty deep <laughs> roster. <laughs> oh, I've spent a lunch break or two on Mudhead. <laughs> Back before we started doing this, she used to sit in my cubicle, eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich, scrolling on Mudhead. For those that don't know what Mudhead is, it's just a website that kind of go there and just scout all the different players that there are in ultimate team you can build a team a, yeah they have a lineup generator tool where you could you know try to build your salary cap team and it, it's a lot of fun it's a really good website a great resource for Madden football especially for ultimate team and salary cap barely gets the playoff third and four and throws this one into coverage and it's caught much to the dismay of Joke. Oh, usually when you get those jumping animations in traffic, it's rare you see the receiver hold on to it, but those receiver fighting for him right there. And this see who that was making that catch ball? Fix the game, please. The receiver that made the yeah, catch. Yeah, that's Ingram, that a big Ingram. tight end. He likes to put out wide. So Joke jumps. That'll make it first and five from the 16. Gurley walks into the end zone. He's in the park. That first playoff game wasn't the only one that's popping. You got True Boy and Joe going back and forth, back and forth. Neither one of them wanted to give up their ultimate league season. And True's going for two. Try to make it a seven point game. Remember, he kicked two field goals earlier. Scrambling, looking, you gotta let go of it. Oh. And overthrew Ingram. So the lead remains five with 2.42 to go in the third. Scott Cole and RG with you here in Los Angeles, California. And we're in the wild card round of the Legend Conference. Winner plays problem. Hands it off, and that's easy. See Bo Jackson sealing the edge right there, that left tackle, Bo. Runs it to the right side where he's got that legend 95 overall, Dan Deardorff. It's funny, too, with the legends. You, you, you get, like, you know, my dad, he's, you know, he's 
watches some matter, but not a lot. But then he, he turns it on, and he starts seeing some of the guys from when he goes, Mel Blount's in the game? Are you kidding me? Like, it's funny seeing some of the older guys react to some of these legends. Big play by Joe. Speaking of a legend, but he dropped it. That's Paul Warfield. The 72 Dolphins. Wait, what? I dropped it. Yeah, you dropped it. Choke just realized that he did catch it. that pass. Right. I feel it, Warfield. That, that, that's a high cap player. He's a 95 overall. You, you expect him to make those catches. Good to see if that was a possession catch or. Nevertheless, he throws oh. almost a pick. It hit Amos in the hands. So maybe that evens things out. And it always usually eventually does, doesn't it, Scott? It's true. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The only thing you can control is your emotions. This is huge. That's a good saying right there. This is huge. Oh, my goodness. Fourth and 13. On his own 34, trailing by five. Mariota. Good pocket. Good throw. Good throw. And Warfield hangs on this time. And it'll be a first down all the way down at the 35-yard line. You want to talk about coming up clutch on a big play? Let's talk about Echo Fox Joe on fourth down. Letting one rip and getting the big first down. Ooh, he's got to protect that quarterback, though. True on that fourth down caught, got caught with two defenders in the same area. Left enough space for Warfield to make the first down. Second and 10. Even a field goal is okay here. That'll make it a two-point game. Which means you could eventually take the lead with a field goal if you stall out. Second down, Mariota. They pick up the blitz. Hey, oh, Deion. Oh. The that draft. was Deion Sanders, 97 overall. And the drag route was wide open underneath. Joe needs to... Keep the offense consistent. Can't be making reads like that. And Warfield. Yes, he it. Yes, no. no, why did he go backwards? <laughs> he was so surprised by the interception. I thought I was going to get it back, and I got it back. That he oh, couldn't dude. get going upfield, and he jumped out of bounds. Does he, does he click oh, onto this? Down. Couldn't really tell. It was late. If he did, it was at the oh. at the last second. Wow, that was a huge interception, Scott. That could have been a pick six if he could have got going the right way. Sort of dumbed out there. Oh, this is an insane possession right here for True. If he could continue to kill this clock, march this ball down the field, and get himself a touchdown. This might be for the bread. Be in prime position to advance to this next round of the playoffs to go face off against Problem Right. Steve Young has a lane. There's Gurley. He cuts it back. Great spin out to the 34. You're right, Scott. Imagine if Drew just had a little bit more speed at this running back position He's right gone there. Right there. Might have been Audi. Couldn't get away from Ronnie Lott, which a lot of running backs in the 80s would have said so. He was a scary guy to come up and hit you. I'll tell you what, Drew's making me a believer with this offensive line up in the front. I mean, look at these, the size of these holes he's getting, Scott. That beef is just manhandling Joke's defensive front out of that nickel 335 defense. Single back wing tight Z. Fair to say I haven't run much of that formation this year in Madden. I don't think many people have. So second and two as we enter into the fourth quarter. Put your fours up, guys. It's a five-point game. Ball at the 42. True's trying to finish off Echo Fox Joe. Press coverage again. And the reason you can press coverage this formation is because though Ingram has speed, he's not a burner. Yeah, yeah. He is a good receiver, though. He's got a lot of Diversity where he can play that tight end or the receiver because that's that team of the year in room to 92 overall. But you are right, Scott. It's, it's not that Tyreek Hill factor. 
Where you got to worry about him getting way behind the defense. There's no safety help, though. Back. Look on your left side. No safety help. He's going to get back there and hand it off. Ooh, this is close. Trying to bait him into making that throw. He's going to be shy. It. Fourth and one. What do you do? He doesn't have it. He's going to go for this. He's going <laughs> to kill some clock, and he, he's going to go. This is big. If you Echo Fox joke, you need to get out your fourth and one D right here and make a play. He'll go to the air. He's got the quarterback yes. tied. Big play. And now you got the ball on the 44, trailing by five. Tough opportunity for True. You see why? Briefly open right there. X also open. True just hesitates on the fourth and one. It gives Joke a whole new breath of life. It looked like that was Leonard Williams who got in there on the pressure. Number 92. Yeah, Joke, you need to get this offense going. Remember, True only gave up 17 points total in three games against EMB. You've already, for Joke, you've already scored 14 points this game. He's got to continue to make things happen. Trying to use his legs. Move it to the 41. Third and seven. Four oh two left in this playoff game. Survive in advance. Hick. That's a bad Dion read. That's a terrible it. read. He's got ball to Dion. Can That's he make a miss? That yes. Is yes. Yes. Twenty. Yes. Oh. Prime oh. time with the pick and maybe the win. Oh my goodness, Scott. That's retention. One key, man. Come on. And it's up and it is good. Eli Clayton coming up big on defense. He's been a savage on that side of the ball all season long. And the savagery even got more intense on this one. It's the playoffs, and he's getting pick sixes with prime time. That was huge. Almost got it stripped. And this corn, this wide receiver C route, people get so reliant on it until you run into a high-level Madden player and they make that adjustment, take it away. And how often have we seen that go back for a pick six this year? We've seen it get guys big games over and over go. again, but when they mess it up, boy, do they mess that route up. You gotta work for this. Come on. 26 to 14. Still got three timeouts, so you need to score and you need to stop. But you got to get going. Man, that was huge. Echo Fox joke. Put himself in a hole with that one. Mariota. The issue is, this is not Joke's game. This is not his style. He's not a throw it around the yard, come back kind of guy. He's a defensive mind. And he's in a hole here on third and 16. And when you're a defensive mind, the last thing you can do, Cole, is give up points with your offense, especially in the fourth quarter of a playoff game. That might end up being a read Joe has to think about for a long time. Dion! Dion! Oh gosh, Dion! Dion again. It's prime time again. Look how he's holding the rock. A loaf of bread to the 41. And this is the, one of the first times we've seen him insert Dion into his roster just because he's so expensive. You see Joke, that under pressure banner came up. He's 76 cap. I think that's the most in the whole league. That's the most he could spend on the DB. And True knew something about him. And Gurley still on his feet fighting to the 35. <laughs> Look at the face of Trey. Look at the excitement on that young man. He knows he, he's on his way to punching his ticket to the next round of the playoffs and ultimate league and we've talked about this earlier in the season where true boy tied with skimbo for making the most ever live events but he had never made a real deep run like that and a lot of those live events well guess what looks like he's making a run now he's gonna be in the final eight he's gonna make it to the divisional round if it holds up There'll be three top Madden players in the Legend Conference that make the divisional round in Drini, True, and Problem.
So I got some good news and bad news. You won your wild card game, it looks like. Bad news is you're about to face the number one player in the conference. And Eric problem right. Hey, but that's right where you want to be. That's why you get involved with this for those kind of opportunities to go up against the greatest Madden player of all time, the guy that you began watching on Twitch, looked up to for a long time, and now you'll get to sit across from him and do battle for some real-time glory and some big bucks. There's Gurley to the 17. Clock will stop. Two timeouts left for Joe. He'll drop back and throw it. He's going to run and just goes head first to the 13. But that's enough for the first down. Got to be careful. Yeah, just run this ball through. You just got to run this, get, get that last timeout from Joe. And still get a there he goes. timeout. And he can also, yeah, he didn't want to score there. Yep. You can tell that. That's pretty much that's a man game. move. That's pretty much it. And Easily could have scored here, RG. Right there. Uh, this, this helps him. And you got to take some time, you know, pay some homage to Echo Fox Joe. Remarkable player, one of the most consistent players there's been on the circuit over the last two years. We've seen him make tremendous strides. He made the championship of the Madden Classic this year. Gets into the playoffs in the Ultimate League. Represented the Cleveland Browns in the Madden Club Championship earlier in the season. A lot of impressive stuff from him, but his Madden season and the MCS is going to come to an end. 114 to go. 30-second play clock. You, you, you really, honestly, Scott, you can't help but be happy for True Boy. This was a young man who was going through some things. He had some emotional problems. And, you know, he yeah, admitted self -admitted. it. self-admitted. It's self-admitted by him. And he yeah. said, I really had to work on some things. I wanted to better myself, better my game. Wanted to make my family proud. proud. I'll tell you what. He's done it. Brother True and Mama True back home. Couldn't be prouder of him right now. He put on an excellent performance here in the playoffs. He said his brother Ahmad and his mom Aaron got a lot to be proud of. Gurley will get in there for six. And there's a touchdown for True. At one point, this was a game. I'm not saying it would happen, but you got Dubby playing Drini. And True going to play problem. A couple of upsets happen. Could have a Dubby True Boy game in the Legend Conference Finals. A problem and Dubby could also face off again for the third time this year. Well, True beat him earlier in the season. In a low scoring game, 12 to 5. But it's 32 to 14. And I'm not saying he's the the EMB stopper, but the stats don't lie. But he is the EMB stopper. That's, that's big for the top Madden, too. We, we talked about these crews all season long. The top Madden crew, which had six people, EMB had four players, and this is another win. And good show of respect right there. They could be rivals, but at the end of the day, they share them that camaraderie. And, Keeping it classy up there, but what a performance by True Scott. Hats off to that young man. That's your final, 32 to 14. True is moving on to the divisional round to face the number one seed in problem there in the Legend Conference. Let's go down to Adrian Lawrence, who's standing by with a winner. True, congratulations. The road isn't over. You will continue and go on. How do you rate your performance in this matchup against Joke? Uh, played almost perfect. Uh, I, you know, gave him some new looks today uh, that he hasn't seen before, and uh, I think that helped me. And in terms of your run game, how did you execute it? 
Uh, just kept switching up the runs. Uh, whenever you know he'll pinch line, I'll run a certain run. Whenever he'll spread line, I'll run a certain run. So, uh, just mix it up. And there were quite a few interceptions there in the fourth quarter. You want to talk to us a bit about that? Uh, it just shows uh, I made good adjustments first uh, bunch. So, uh, yeah, I should have had I think, another one, but I dropped one earlier. So, it's all good. Yeah, out there. No, why did you do that? And you're going to move on next, and you will be facing problem. What do you expect? Uh, another crazy game. I just hopefully, you know, I can maintain his uh, special teams as well this time, and uh, I should be good. And you also seem extremely chill and calm. Like, what's going on in here? What am I missing? Because this is a big win, man. Uh, yeah, just one game at a time, one more game away from uh, going to Dallas, so it's a big deal. Awesome. Well, congratulations and best of luck on the rest of the journey. Thank you. Back to you guys.